I am the typical Igala woman who <coughs> loves to pound my yam. Mm -hmm. And people say, why? I have tried <laughs> the palm draw and the other one. Even now, I heard that they use, um, what do you call it? Um, what do you call that, that, that? No, that mixer. The great yam pounder. There are yam pounders. No, yes, no, no, I don't there's, know. There's, 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 a, there's, a, there's a mixer. mixer. There's a new mixer that has come out. But like I say that, if my pepper, I prefer pounding, than using um, um, uh, a Great. blender. Wait, you so prefer pounding your pepper? Yes, I prefer oh, wow. pounding my pepper. You do yourself? You no, know, I do everything I do myself. You see, the thing here is that I'm a firstborn. And the typical Nigerian home, when you're a firstborn and you're a girl child, you're going to be taught so many things. You are the essay domestic duties. No, well, if, <laughs> <laughs> well, if, <laughs> if you say that, because you see, the thing here is that then I thought it, was, it wasn't good. Yeah, but was eventually with life and time and because you, if you have all these people who do these things for you, they think they're the best thing that has happened. But when they know that you can do it for yourself, they, nobody is going to mess up with you. So I actually like to do my things myself. Pounding yam is the best. But the only thing is that if you have a very large um, uh, number, of people. number of people in your house, exactly. the thing about my own house is that some people will say, no, I don't want, not, the younger ones don't really like pounded yam. They prefer pando yam. What's the difference? Well, I'm, I'm kind I, of I, lost. What's the difference? I don't know why. Frank, I prefer yam, the proper yam that I can see like this that's been boiled on the fire and then processed and into mm -hmm. the pounded form mm -hmm. over the flour version. Okay, the flour version is the pounded pound yeah, that you yeah. turn oh, like the one you okay. turn. Okay. The one you turn yeah, like yeah. yeah, but there's another way you can actually do uh, pounded yam. Uh, you grate the pounded yam, more like put it in the blender, blend it as fresh as it is, then put it in the fire. You grate the pounded yam? Yeah, you boil it. They, yeah, they, you, boil, you actually, actually blend the pounded yam I, I, I just want you to correct no, yourself. No, the raw yam, sorry. Yeah. Blend, yeah. The, mm. blend, the, uh, blend the raw yam, mm. fresh, then boil it. Pour it in a pan. In a pan, and okay. then boil it. Mm. And it comes out thick like pounded yam. Mm. Yes. Kevin, Kevin, you know. see my thing I've here. I've seen things you like see that the way, online. The way, I, I think know. the way people... You see I've like done it. When, you were on, when we were on air and um, they were doing that thing, and I, I think I just mentioned to you that... Because you are from this Azus, most people from this um, Benue, uh, Kogi, and all that, um, uh, Kwara, they prefer the pounded yam. Maybe people from the South South or the Southwest, I think maybe you people don't no, mind. No, let, me tell, yeah. let me tell you why. You know, the, the, the mortar and pistol pounding yes. was a limited technology as at the time it was introduced. Really? And it was used to ease off how to get this pounded yam being made at home. We've gone past that stage. We can't because of how we were brought up and say that's how I was brought up and you don't want to make an innovation. No, time and chance has actually changed. So we can actually introduce, when uh, Pando, uh, Pando, what they call it, the machine was first introduced by the guy from South Nobody actually bought the idea. He sold it to a Japanese uh, company that bought up the patent from him and they are making so much money from it. But that has actually <coughs> changed over time. When I saw this blended thing Doesn't and I tried it, it worked perfectly well. I do what they call ononu. Ononu from where I, I come up from, ononu is pounded from the mortar and the pistol. That's plantain and yam mixed together, pounded together with oil that gives you that yellowish, you know, fufu, right? But I tried it with the same technology and it works.